Old black magic has me in its spell. All right, you want to look at a, a piece of beauty? Look at that. Oh, it's so much better. Cures are in order. Everything's in order. So much open space. I sold all those useless arrows. I still have a couple of extra swords just in case. But, oh, the inventory. It's so nice. But anyway, let's go the way we're supposed to go now. We talk to this guy. He gives us permission. And we can now pass through the Dwarven secret exit over here. Because I think we've done everything we need to do in the Dwarven Kingdom. So we're going to go through here. Hello. Lally ho. Lally ho indeed. Looks like all these treasures have been taken. That's a shame. Oh well. These cracked grounds remind me of like a Pokemon gym where you'd want to like avoid stepping in the same part of the ice twice. Isn't that Juan's gym? I might be misremembering. I don't know. Anyway, cabins. I'm going to immediately just start making sure everything is in order as soon as I get items. Like, I don't want to, I don't want this inventory to look nearly as bad as it did before this part. Monsters here and underground are strong. Be careful. All right, you got it. I'm brave, but you're braver. Oh, no, you're the bravest. No, you're the bravest. You're breathtaking. I know Golbez is out of Babel, but the strongest of the four fiends called Rubicant of Fire is there. Ooh, the last of the four fiends is there. All right. This is the pot of life. Want to sip? Uh, oh, we have a little healing spaces of sorts, kind of like Final Fantasy III had with the, the healing waters. Um, but look at us. We're out in the underground now. We're going to use this pathway to get to the Tower of Babel, sneaking by. Now, I suppose in some aspects, Kane is better in the back row because of the fact that you want to just jump with him and everything. And there I could leave, I guess, Rydia in the front row, right? Uh, Rydia does not have a lot of health, and neither does Rosa. Kane at least has a decent amount and is getting health back, so yeah, I'm going to leave things the way they are now. You know, I do like the concept of the underground world, all this lava about the dwarven people. It's a neat kind of expansion of the game and the world. Uh, after, you know, it, at first it just can kind of mundane, like, okay, we're going after more crystals, like, what's the point of this? But you know what, it, it has its charm to it, I especially like the dwarven people, they're pretty great in this. Coming up here, oh, there are their tanks, marching to battle, doing their thing. Uh, oh yeah, they're creating quite the impact on the Tower of Babel. Uh, hopefully we won't get caught in the crossfire, right, like we did last time when our ship crashed? Ooh, hurry in, everyone. Oh, I suppose. Let me real quick just use a tent right outside. <laughs> Hold your fire, men! We're taking a nap! <laughs> Break out the sleeping bags! Quick! Pronto! Alright, and I might as well save while we're out here. Seven hours? You know, it's not a ton of time for an RPG, but we're making a lot of progress. Anyway, here we are on the Tower of Babel, and it looks just like the Tower of Zot. Um, that's unfortunate. Might as well pick some of these treasures up along the way. A bandana, I believe that is for Yang. Whoops. <laughs> With Yang, he's been having a leather helmet this whole time, but boy, that is nice. And it also is a slight attack increase, kind of neat. I'm going to get rid of that leather one. If I don't think it's going to sell worth a lot, and I don't want it taking up inventory space, I'm just going to get rid of it. That's my policy from now on. We have here another treasure. Oh, never mind. This is monsters. Okay. It's an alert system of sorts. Fuck it up, I guess. Identifying objects. What? Are you looking at us? What are you doing here, partner? Alert! Oh, it's sounding an alarm and bringing in a stone man. Interesting. Well, the stone guy probably doesn't like ice, does he? Let's try that. I'll try on both of them, why not? I'm pretty sure as a technological creature of sorts, it doesn't like, uh, electricity magic? Like lightning? I don't know, I should do something at least. Never mind, it's very okay with the ice. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Let's try a lightning on it. As Kane comes down from above, get some health back too. Oh, it brings in another thing if we hit it again? Okay, just focus on that for now, I guess. Lightning also does one. Shit. Okay, it just, uh, it's okay with magic, it would seem. Good thing I can jump with Kane. There it goes. Nice work, Cecil. Um, let's finish off this thing from here. Jeez, Yang! You do a lot of damage to that stone guy. What do we get for beating the monsters in this chest? Ooh, a new spear for Kane. Well, we did just buy one, but I guess we'll see what this is about. This is worse attack, better defense, doesn't drain, I'm not using it. Damn, what a waste. This one is also monsters, and it'll probably also get us some treasure. I'm just gonna focus that thing in the back so it can't summon that many more monsters as we go on. It summons some sort of weird chimera? Interesting. Uh, we can do a bunch of cool summons with Rydia, but they do use a lot of MP. She does have a lot of MP. I'll summon a chocobo to hit the chimera, I guess. Beast for beast, you know? Look at that chocobo go. Aha! 308. Yeah, I'll take it, I guess. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and cure Yang here. 
Good jump, Kane. All that's left is this thing here. Uh, oh, and we got it. Nice. Okay. What was this one guarding by chance? It was guarding an ice sword. Oh, I should have figured there was a weapon for Kane, a weapon for Cecil after all. But let's see. Ice sword is stronger. I'll take it. We have some more treasure right here. Ooh, more claws for Yang. I like how we're getting a lot of weapons in this place so far. This is one more attack. Wow, why does Yang keep getting like singular attack increases? That's kind of bizarre. Ooh, next floor. I'm just in a massive maze of chests and doors right now, it would seem. Archer's bow. Well, is it better than a great bow? It probably shouldn't be, but it is. Okay. We have a life item. I'll take it, I guess. Okay, so this was just for items here. This wasn't the right way to go. Is it this way we need to go? Possibly? There's a lot of doors in this place, it would seem. Ooh, save point. Okay, that's a good sign. I have a whole way around here. And in here. This is gonna be monsters. I already can tell. So they don't have, like, the trap rooms from Final Fantasy 2. Oh, I can strike first. Okay. They don't have the trap rooms from Final Fantasy 2. They just have trap rooms with chests in them that themselves are traps, but then get you items anyway, so aren't really traps. I don't know. It's kind of confusing. It's like mini-bosses, I guess. Right? And in this place's case, all the mini-bosses are the same... I think? We did learn size. What was the item these folks were hiding? Ice armor. Uh, well, if the ice sword is anything to go by, that's gotta be pretty good, right? Ice armor... It's an increase of two for Cecil. It might be better if we give it to Kane. Yeah, it's an increase of four. Overall, let's give it to Kane. How about... That snake that he summons is one freaky looking snake. Gonna be honest, I don't like it. I don't like it as cheek jaw lines. <laughs> or that it has weird emo hair. Just just get it out of here. Kane, get it out of here, please. That wasn't enough, shit. Rydia, get it out of here. That, wow, Rydia actually killed it, nice. <laughs> Kane got a level and ice shield, okay. So yeah, they're giving us a lot of like, the slightly better armor set than we had before. Which I guess I'll accept. Uh, actually that's... Oh, that's silver. Uh... It's still the same, though, but I guess it's maybe good at blocking ice magic? Okay, never mind, there are trap rooms like in Final Fantasy 2. What the hell, why did they bring them back? I don't remember that, honestly. I guess I just kind of ignored a lot of those treasures, because they aren't really necessary. Shit ton of money, not that I really need it at this point in the game. And I see a door way up that ladder staircase, not sure. Uh, yeah, way up that way. It seems somehow important. It's locked. Ooh, okay. We'll come back to it, I guess. So, we gotta go back to that door. There's another door going through to the next floor. Hell, hey, look, it's like the alert guys are also uh, random encounters, it would seem. But in this case, we can probably run away. We probably can't run away with uh, monsters in a box. Hello there. Uh... Master Rubicant, please be careful. Eblin has fallen, so the threat is gone. He will take care of this place while I'm gone. Oh, is that a hologram or a teleportation? What, what did I just see? Also, this guy's just a flat-out, like, scientist in a lab coat with pink glasses. Like, eh. How is this still medieval? This isn't medieval at all. <laughs> but he's staring down, like, a paladin. <laughs> a, 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 a wizard. Hee hee hee. Golbez and Rubicant are both gone. Now I'm the leader here. Weird guy. <laughs> Hush. Who's there? You, you tell me you didn't see us earlier? You really need glasses. Cecil! You know us? What you call for help, Doctor? Don't take me lightly or you'll get burned. <laughs> Makes me laugh. Weird, why is Kane talking like that? Now face my beloved child, Balnab! Oh. Alright, so I've got a weird Frankenstein and Frankenstein's monster here thing going on. Let's get him, I guess. Kane, why don't you jump on Dr. Legay back there? Go, Balnab! Grrr. Is he doing anything? Doesn't look like it. Let's do the Mist Dragon, I guess. Uh, he hit the doctor himself, it looks like. Ouch, not me! <laughs> Them, over there! Grrr. Okay, we have a bit of a comedy relief fight, it would seem. Beat him up! 215 to the doctor himself. 664 to the monster. Mist Dragon's coming through and gonna do damage to both of them uh, for 20 MP, which is not that bad, honestly, for how much MP Rydia has. It would've been pretty bad if it was on Tella, who does not have a lot of MP, but... Tella is dead now. 
Good damage there, Yang. Nice one. Do more to Lugay. Uh, I must oil him. Ah, uh, yes. Heal. Um, didn't seem to have any effect from what I can tell, but sure. This is kind of a bizarre moment, isn't it? Well, I mean, it was already strange enough. We're in a weird space place tower, and now there's a rat scientist with a Frankenstein's monster creation of sorts. Ooh, there he goes. Just you now, Doctor. Uh, something tells me you won't put up much of a fight, and we got a Chocobo coming in for you. Kick its ass, Chocobo! Yeah! <laughs> 407. 516 more? I mean, is this guy really gonna take much of a beating? He doesn't look like he can really handle it. He looks pretty scrawny, as a matter of fact. Oh, my dear! I will operate him! Directly now! Oh, okay. He gets in the machine! Balnab Z, it's still the silly music playing, even though he's in it now. Do the virus- Ooh, look at how much that virus attack did to him, boy. That's a good spell. He's hitting Cecil, ow! That hurt Cecil pretty badly, actually. I'm gonna heal him up. Oh, never mind, we got him. Okay. Um, take that. I'll show you my real strength. Oh. Now, the real fight! I'm gonna go ahead and use a cure item on Cecil while I have the time. And, uh, I'll have him heal himself as well. Just get him topped off. Uh, what exactly are you... Oh. Well, I... I was expecting a transformation sequence, but it said it was just, Whoop! I'm this now! <laughs> Ow, we are all poisoned. Well, if he's poisoning us, I shouldn't use the virus on him, but I will use... Uh, what uses the most? Titan uses the most? I'm gonna use Jin. We'll see how that does. Why don't you heal yourself of your poison, Rosa, just to be safe. Doing a laser attack. <gasps> oh my, that really hurt Cecil. Okay. Uh, doing gas. We're gonna bring Cecil back with Rosa as soon as we can. Jin, come through. Wh uh, what can you do for us? Haha! Uh, ooh, that's pretty good. Let's try a Titan now. What the hell? What? He healed us? I mean, I'm not complaining. Sure. Let's bring Cecil back. Beam. Oh, now that they did like nothing. Interesting. I'm not sure what's going on in this fight. Gas? He keeps doing gas and it doesn't seem to do anything. Yeah, I don't know what's happening with that gas attack. Why did laser not work just now? This is a weird fight. It's a very weird fight, especially with that whole intro bit. <laughs> I don't know what's up with you, Dr. Lugay. You got something going on. 2,000 more from Titan. Hell yeah. Let's heal up Cecil. Oh, never mind. Uh, Yang got him. <laughs> okay. Uh, and Yang also gonna level up. That was a weird fight. I don't remember a lot of that. Oh, but we got the key uh, to the door on the other floor. This tower babble connects to the ground and underground. Rubicant has already moved all the crystals to the upper world. And I shall annihilate the dwarves with my super cannon. Ha ha ha! Okay, so the reason we came here is, uh, is moot. Because they moved all the crystals out. Dwarves are in danger. We must stop the super cannon. We must destroy it. Alright, I guess that's our goal now. So what's this? Looks like a warp device, but we can't use it. Oh, okay, it was a warp. So Rubicant was actually here. He just teleported away. And then there's nothing going on up here. Okay, we just need to go back down to that one floor with the locked door, use that key we got, and check out what's in there. I think that's where the super cannon is operated. I'm just gonna run away from these alert things when it's not like a treasure chest battle, because, I mean, it, 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 there's no reason to wait for them to summon a whole bunch of enemies and, you know, alarm them and everything. In fact, I'll run away from a, few, a bunch of these battles just because I'm trying to get back to that door. I don't want to waste any more time here, after all. Because, you know, we gotta save the dwarves! They actually came up with the smart plan, unlike us throughout the entirety of the game. Alright, going up to the door, locked, let's go ahead and use tower key here, opens up, and we're inside the super cannon room. Goodbye, dwarves. Your fun is over. You, how did you get here? Get them! Alright, all the folks operating the cannon are coming at us, but it's just dark imps. We felt these guys outside of the tower and they're pretty damn easy. Uh, as you can see from Yang one-shotting the first one there, especially with our new cool weapons we got throughout the dungeon here. I mean, <laughs> Kane is still just using the uh, Drain Spear, because I really like the Drain Spear, what can I say? Uh, ooh, and nice job, Rosa. Got some XP. Alright, seems like we saved the dwarves. How about this? Okay, you blew up your own weapon. 
No one can stop the super cannon anymore. Wh what? <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Cecil Kane, I have the exact same reaction you two do. I'm like, what? Oh, okay. Yang! What are you doing? I'll take care of this. Go on, escape. No, don't! It'll explode! Go! And he shoves us out of the room. Yang! Tell my wife to live for me. Open up, Yang. Yang! Please don't do this. It was a good trip with you all. Yang, open the door. Ah! Uh, okay. I have so many questions right now. Huh? Is the main one. Yang! Another death to go with Tella and Palam and Porum. And all the ones they faked out with Leviathan at the start of the game. And kinda can, I guess. It doesn't open. Yeah, uh, Yang's gone. Out of the party. I guess they have someone else they want to introduce. That must be why. So you may be asking yourself, why do they do that? What, what, what happened there? So, like, the bad guys had the super cannon aimed at the dwarves. We killed them in a battle, but I guess they're alive still afterwards, uh, somehow. And then they went, they seemingly blew up the super cannon, which then prompted Yang to shove us out of the room. The room exploded. He died in it. What did that accomplish? Why didn't he just leave the room with us? It's the same exact thing with Palam and Porum. Like, okay, there's a wooden door blocking our path. Let's just burn it with our fire magic. Why are you doing this? Like, eh. Some of the sacrifices in this make no sense whatsoever. Tellas makes sense. Yang, Palom, and Porum, they do not. <laughs> also, after we get out of that one battle, the sad music that is happening after Yang's death is no longer playing. And for some apparent reason, we can't use the exit spell to get out of here quickly. We gotta slowly walk out of the whole place, which seems strange. Like, why are they just letting us leave? Alright, we've made it back to the entrance. I'm gonna go ahead and heal up. Just to be safe as we exit here, now with Cecil, because we're out of MP. And as we exit here, we get some sort of message from Golbez, I guess? You have amused me a lot. Golbez! This is all for play, kids. Farewell. Um... Oh, he seems to be destroying the bridge we came in on. Why did we leave again? Why did we... We came here for the... Crystals. Uh, by the way, uh, swooping in to save us from falling, even though I thought we were on the base floor, is Sid. This is kind of confusing, but okay. Just in time! Sid! Well, I guess we need to get Sid back in the party, so that must have been why they killed Yang. Where's Yang? He... To destroy the super cannon. I see. Poor Yang. So wait, it was to destroy the super cannon, but it looked like they were already destroying it because it was blowing up. I don't... Anyway. Who's the girl? Rydia. Color of mist. Shucks! They're coming! Oh boy. Seems we're being pursued by the Red Wings. Can't we shake them off? Looks like they modified the Red Wings! Uh, actually, they look exactly the same, but anyway. He's catching up! Give it your best, Enterprise! The engine can't last much longer! Cecil, take the control! Sid! What are you doing? With an exclamation point, not a question mark. Interesting. Get out of the underground! I'll close the hole with this bomb! Oh, Sid. I wanted to see your children, Rosa, Sissel. But I guess I'll stay here for a while. Go to Baron and get my workers to help you. Sid! Come on. Be good, Rydia. I just met you, but I'm giving you advice now. Hurry to Baron! Golbez, I'll show you the great fireworks of Sid, the Master Engineer! Sid! Why? It's too dangerous. We'll head toward Baron. Okay! Uh, uh, uh sorry, what? So, what, what, what was Sid's plan in all this? His plan was to, what? Pick us up at the ground level, 
after he got chased away by some Red Wings, uh, fly out of the underground, drop himself, explode the exit, somehow blocking it off perfectly, which also, apparently, is he okay? Like, he didn't act like he was about to die, but he, he clearly just blew up in front of our eyes. Like, he, he clearly died. Everyone was holding their heads low and mourning. But, like, none of this makes sense. None of this makes sense. No well, so much for uh, adding Sid to the party, because he's gone. Yeah, spoiler alert! Uh, all of the characters I did grinding with with Cecil, so that was Sid, Tella, Yang, and then with Cecil himself. Um, none of them are coming back. <laughs> yeah, Sid, he, he, he's gone. Yang, he's gone. He blew up. Tella, we saw him die. <laughs> what is happening in this story? I don't... Eh. Anyway, he wanted us to go see his workers here in Baron. Whoops. In Baron. So we might as well do that now. His worker being uh, those guys in the blue over on the right. So we gotta go kind of around and over to see them. The opposite direction we take to go to Cecil's room. Hello! Cecil! Boss ordered us to attach this hook to the Enterprise. No, it won't take long. In fact, we're just gonna fade to black as we do it. Oh, nope, we've got a build sequence. Look at this. They're attaching something to the steering wheel, even though they're just doing a hook? How does that work? You can now hook and carry the hovercraft. Okay! Uh, to hook or let go of the hovercraft, press A over the craft. Now you can go to the Cave of Elbin by the Tower of Babel. I'll bring the hovercraft to the shore to detach it there, and then use it to get to the cave. Okay! Uh, Sid is... Oh, well, I can tell you're having trouble handling him, but I won't blame you. Well, good luck! Sid's gone! We saw him blow up in front of our eyes! What a... Anyway, yeah, now we can hook the hovercraft, which is very, very important. With the hovercraft seemed like we kind of just abandoned it way earlier in the game, over here. Like, we haven't even fought the first fiend of the elements by the time we <laughs> went there. But, uh, now that we can carry it anywhere we want, we can actually take it all the way to the islands where we needed to take it before, kind of near the entrance to the underground. Or no, there's the near... there's the entrance to the underground. This is... is that Mysidia? I don't want Mysidia. Um, this is where we're supposed to take it over here, I think, to get to that cave, but I'll be right back. Firstly, we had this area here I wanted to show off, because we came here before, that's the town of Silveria, we went to get some equipment, back with the old party, and now that we can take the hovercraft here, we can go down to this cave, and you might wonder what this is, so we might as well check, uh, see for ourselves. This is the Grotto Adamant. I don't want to talk to you unless you have a tail for me. Uh, we don't have a tail, I'm afraid. My dad found a funny ore, and you know what? He collects tails. So, um, kind of a, a hint for a little side quest. We haven't really had side quests the whole game yet, which is kind of surprising for a big open world RPG. Um, it's not really open world at that point. Yeah, I digress, there is a bit of exploration anyway. Um, but yeah, if we can find that guy tail, it's very similar to the Bahamut quest in the original Final Fantasy, where they want a tail and then they'll give us this great new thing but, of course, what we're supposed to do is take it near the Tower of Babel, because, yeah, the giant tower we've seen uh, here in the overworld is not the Tower of Zot, it's the Tower of Babel. So, what the hell is the Tower of Zot, and where is it? Who knows? <laughs> we're gonna drop this off here. I guess we're intended to do that little wreckage castle there now, since, I mean, it did give us the Drain Spear, which is for Cain. And we are supposed to go here now. So it seems like, you know, the, the appropriate time to do it. But, uh, I guess, uh, we already did it at this point, so we'll just move on. 